There we go. Now we're rolling. What's happening, everybody? It's me hanging out here by this uh, Walmart parking lot. I might head home in a few minutes here. Our music show, me, Ark Noya, and YR, will be live tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be taking a look at the uh, two-year anniversary of Eddie Van Halen's death. And we're going to possibly do uh, our top 10 Van Halen songs. I still have yet to let Ark Noya know about this. I have been, have been able to get a hold of them for a while now. Actually, I did DM them on how I'm doing after my dental work was done a couple days back there. I should probably message him definitely and let him know we'll be live and be ready there. In the meantime, I'm doing well. I go back to work this coming Thursday. So our show this week will probably be the only one so far until my next day's off. I'm wondering if it's going to be back to Wednesdays and Thursdays or it may go back to Mondays and Thursdays like before. I do not know. If I had my choice, it would be uh, Friday and Saturday off, but I'm pretty much needed on both those days as well as Sundays there. Weekends are pretty busy there. In the meantime, everything is going good for me. You know, just you know, um, get a lot of people work done for the past couple of days, give it to my boss, you know, let them know that I'm ready to work again, and all that good shit aside. And, um, like I said, you know, had a lot of dental work done that was massively needed. I mean, I could not go on with the uh, issues that I was having there. It was time to finally get something done. Now, you may ask yourself, why did it take so long? Why couldn't you get this taken care of a couple of years ago? Well, this shit is expensive as fuck. I mean... All of us had to save, save, save lots of money. And despite all that, I still owe my sister a good amount because she helped contribute to the cost of all this. This shit is not cheap. And now years back when I first moved here, I was told that there was a free dental work located somewhere here in Texas, but I did not get where it was located or any other information. I talked to my brother-in-law about it and he said, you know, if it's going to be free, then most likely um, there's going to be some botches here and there. Most likely if they do work on your teeth, they'll probably uh, not use anesthesia. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but Either way, it never got done there. So uh, possibly in a couple weeks or later this week, we'll all sit down to figure out how much my rent would be. That's about it so far. I heard that Front 242 is coming to Numbers Night Club this coming Saturday evening, but if I'm going to be back at work, most likely I'll be at work till about 10, I know actually 11 p.m. It's always been uh, 11 p.m. Which means, you know, I won't be able to see them. Because according to the schedule that I checked online, that's the time where they hit the stage. And it takes about close to an hour for me to get from my workplace to numbers. So by the chance I get there, I'll probably only make it for about two or three songs left in their set list. So 
so I'll probably just go to the numbers this coming Friday night. Either that or probably go back to the concert pub because they had this thing called Sabbath at their Forever. I don't know if it's a tribute band to Black Sabbath. If so, I would like to check it out. You know, I had mentioned a couple of times to my uh, co-workers about getting me a time switch. I think I've mentioned this before. Me possibly starting a couple of hours earlier than my scheduled time to get a lot of things done so I can head out early. You know, I still have, I only, excuse me, I only mentioned it to a couple of people. I should probably uh, mention it to the, uh, to the one who does my scheduling. I'll probably get the chance to do that this weekend if I see him. And, uh, anyway, that's all that's going on right now. I know YR has been, um, he's been uh, glad that I'm, we're going to be doing some shows together again. Like I said, I know it's going to be uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays, Thursdays I have off. But if you change it, you know, no problem there. We'll be still doing our shows regardless. Now, we have a couple of good topics lined up to talk about. There was this one particular one that I wanted to bring up. Why uh, so many musicians from the past have a thing for underage girls. Because, you know, Steve Matara was involved with the underage girl. So was Jimmy Page, according to the book Hammer of the Gods. Him. And, of course, Machine Gun Kelly... He expressed it um, about that subject a couple times in the past. Austin Jones, another YouTube singer there, uh, whose name escapes me at the moment. Now, if we do do this subject, keep in mind that we are against that shit. You know, we don't condone that kind of bullshit what's so damn up. I still would like to do a subject about all the major record labels and independent ones out there on another episode coming pretty soon. So that's pretty much uh, what's going on at the moment in terms of music show stuff there. In the meantime, time for me to head back home, get some shut eye, relax. Get out of these drivers' damn way. Dr. Earl, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, notification bell, leave your thoughts and comments below. And oh, by the way, how about you guys watching? Leave your top 10 Van Halen songs, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.